right, Teddy, we're doing a pod review today on this pepper right here, and this is called the Mild Jalapeno. That's a mild jalapeno, guys. That's a nice little pepper to grow. I've been wanting to grow the jalapeno series now for a while, and when I say series, there are a series of jalapenos that are out there. It's kind of like, you know, tomatoes. There's so many varieties of jalapenos that it's almost in a world of its own. And they range everywhere from sweet to literally on the higher end of the heat scale, which is something I'm eventually working on getting. But this is called mild jalapeno. I have grown the early jalapenos, the mild jalapenos, the cracked jalapenos, orange jalapenos. We are working on getting a really hot version of the jalapeno, which is the higher end of the jalapenos. They, they can really ramp themselves up to around between 10 and 15,000 scovilles. This isn't supposed to be that hot, but it could be. It very well could be. But this is supposed to be mild. So it's supposed to probably be in a four to 5,000 uh, Scoville range. That's what we should expect from it. But this is a wonderful pepper to grow. This is one of the jalapenos that I do eat quite often, probably almost as much as I would eat bell peppers. And if I can't, the good thing about these, if you can't grow them, you can go to the store and you can buy them. Most of the jalapenos you're getting in the store are either going to be the mild jalapenos or what they call the early jalapeno. They call them early jalapenos because the plant very early puts out pods this size. They get green, but they don't really ripen. They kind of just stay green literally forever. And so they harvest them really fast. And that way you can have a constant supply of jalapenos if you're somebody who uses them a lot, like I do. It's their early jalapeno. The mild jalapeno is very similar in the sense that it's like that early jalapeno, but the heat is supposed to be more stable in the mid-range of Scoville units. It's supposed to be more of a four to 5,000 Scoville in that area. It's supposed to be right mid-range. It's not supposed to be like a low heat jalapeno, but more like that mid-range of heat. So anyway, here it is. That's it right there. It's a beaut give you a better look at that now I, I, it's late in the year so I have to actually cut all the plants down and pick these while they're still in my house and bring them out to the greenhouse because I'm working out here now so I figured while I'm out here I'll shoot a uh, pod review on it but that is it guys that is the middle mild jalapeno all right so let's give it a bite mmm nice and sweet Okay, so it's a nice and sweet jalapeno. I usually let them ripen up, but if you eat these green, it's going to very much have that green jalapeno flavor, which is a classic flavor, by the way. And so most people won't let your jalapenos ripen because nobody really wants sweet jalapenos. Everybody wants the green jalapenos. Now, when they get red like this, they get very sweet. But sometimes, like this one, they can carry a little bit of a tanginess to them which if you're eating them raw, kind of sour, sweet and sour type thing going there. And that could kind of be off-putting for some people. But if you eat them green, you're not going to get that. If you wait till they ripen, you might get that. Not necessarily every time, but that sweet and soury duck sauce kind of thing going on there is kind of what it's like. It's not bad. It's just if you don't like duck sauce, you don't put duck sauce on your Chinese food, right? So that would kind of be what's going on here. But it's a very nice pot. I mean, the sweetness on this thing was incredibly high. And it has a mild type of heat. Very low. This particular one, I'll take another bite off it. But this particular one, I probably wouldn't put the heat anywhere past, right now, about 3,000, 3,500 on the Scovilles. Wouldn't go too much past that. Now, the type of heat that it is, it's a very warm, glowing burn and full circle. Meaning, it's really affecting everything in my mouth. The lips, across the top of the tongue, the back of the throat by the tonsils. It's actually getting back there and warming those tonsils up. And just kind of in general, around the mouth in general. It's kind of full circle. It's a typical type of ha jalapeno burn. Let me take another bite. I'm going to be honest with you. It seems to be less hot up by the seeds. The concentration of that heat was really towards the middle and bottom part of that pepper. Unless you eat the placenta, but most of us don't normally eat the placentas with our peppers. We usually take the cores out. At least I do. I've always done that. 
I've always taken the cores out of my jalapenos and my serranos, and I generally don't eat the cores, and that's where the majority of the heat comes from. This particular one, the very top of it, seemed to be more sweet, less tangy, with no heat at all, really, the top part of it. The lower part was very, everything I described earlier, it was very much different. But it's a nice pepper to grow if you're somebody who's looking to grow hot or, you know, jalapenos, but you're not necessarily looking for that intense jalapeno type of burn. You can go with the mild jalapenos. They are definitely a lot more mild. They're also a lot more mild in flavor. They don't have a strong jalapeno type flavor, though it does taste like jalapeno slightly, but just not very intense, should I say. It's a very nice pepper to grow. It's one, if you're somebody who likes to go to uh, the supermarket, buy your jalapenos, take the seeds out and try to grow them, don't waste your time with those. Those are actually commercial grade seeds. And those commercial grade seeds are going to be very different than what you're actually buying here. This is actually considered an heirloom. The ones you get in the store are actually seeds that you can't buy to the general. The general public can't buy those seeds. You generally can't buy them. They're very expensive seeds because they're designed specifically for commercial applications. And this right here is an actual true cultivar. It's I don't know if it's an heirloom, but it's definitely an open pollinated version. And... It's what you would want to grow. Don't waste your time growing the seeds from the store. Most of it won't grow, but you might get one that sprouts. We'll do a video on that next year. We'll buy 100 jalapenos, take all the seeds out of them all, and then we'll plant it out in a big planter and see if anything sprouts out of that 100 jalapenos worth of seeds. We'll do that next year. But with this right now, this is a good one to grow. So definitely give it a grow. I like the pepper. I approve of that pepper. And uh, that was it. That's your pod review for the mild jalapeno. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.